Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and guess what? It is sheet load day. Yes, it is the 1st of August, which means it's time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. A new month means a new sheet load of cards. If you're new to my channel, Sheet load is something I put out on the first of each month as a free printable for my subscribers. I will show you this month in just a couple minutes, but basically I come up with a sketch and figure out how many pieces of paper and cardstock you'll need to make a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending on the sketch, the card size, and the size of pattern paper that we'll be using. Today I'm going to be showing you the sketch and the first set that I made and tomorrow I will be back with the process video and when I do that I show you how I put the cards together and give you a few tips along the way. Also tomorrow my team of collaborators will be joining me and sharing their sets for the month. I have some members here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Everybody is linked in that description box below if you want to go ahead and subscribe and follow them so you're ready to see what they created. Let's go ahead and take a look at this month's sketch. Here is a look at the August 2022 sheet load of cards printable. As always, it is two pages where you have your sketch and supply list and your cutting guides. If you follow the supply list and the cutting guides, you are going to yield 12 cards. So just like last month, this is a great one to build your card stash or maybe even get started on those holiday cards, which I'm pretty sure many of you did in July. To get those 12 cards, you'll need three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, three solid card stocks for matting, and six solid card stocks for your card bases. This is just a standard A2 landscape card. And if you like the layout, but you want to use up some scraps or you don't need 12, like always, I do give you single card dimensions for each piece. And here you have some alternatives or other ways to use the sketch. Like for instance, if you want to rotate this sketch, or if you want to use a die cut in place of the image or sediment area. Sheet load is a great jumping off point for you to make these cards your own. Now at the top of each page, you'll notice some hashtags. If you share cards here on YouTube or over on Instagram or even TikTok now, I would love for you to use those hashtags so I can see what you're creating. Now at the end of each month, I do a show us your sheet load feature where I share happy mail that has came in that month and many times they are sheet load examples. If you ever want to send in a card for the end of the month feature, I do have a video in that description box below with more details. On page two is the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each piece of pattern paper and card stock. Now for CS1, since it is a sentiment piece, if you're going to use like a white or a standard color cardstock that you might have scraps of, this would be a great one to use that with. Down on the right, I do have a special shout out for my channel members. Thank you as always for your support each month. You keep me creating here on YouTube and sheet load free for all subscribers. Now, if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box and right underneath this video should be a join button. If you click on that, it will show you the perks as well. Before I tell you how to download this month's sheet load, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for the cards. 
Here's a look at the main supplies that I used for this month's card. I did add some other products and tools and tomorrow in the process video I will tell you all about those. But to get started, for my sentiment, I went with the Hey Friend from Tailored Expressions Mod Sentiment Stamp Set and I stamped that in Gina K Designs Powder Blue Ink. When I show you the papers here a little bit closer later, I think you'll see why I use that blue. Because the size given for the sentiment piece was a bit bigger than the stamp that I chose, I did add a little extra texture with this Paper Studio wood grain embossing folder. Now you can always cut that sentiment piece down or make it larger if needed, but I did like the shape of it on the card, so I left it at that size. Over on the right, for CS1, I chose an off-white cardstock, and again, I actually used scraps. For my matting on the little strip across the center, I got out a light pink cardstock. And for my card bases, because I thought it looked nice with the pattern papers, I used a craft cardstock. And finally, the star of the show, the pattern papers. I got these on a recent visit to my local scrapbook store, which is Busy Scrappin' here in Omaha. And these papers are from Craft O'Clock's Flower Fiesta Number no. 2 line. You know I love wood grain and floral, and I had to pick a third paper to go with it, so I grabbed this almost solid blue. It just has a slight design in the background in a lighter blue. Are you ready to see that first set of cards? You might have noticed while I was sharing that look at my first set of cards that I do have pairs of two that look alike. Now I will talk more about it tomorrow during the process, but you could make them so there are only three different versions or like I have so there are six. You'll notice here in the middle that they all have that blue background, but the difference is I switched up the placement of the other two pattern papers. Here the wood grain is on the left, and here it is on the right. This is just a way that you can make these look a little bit more different if you're going to give them as sets or just to send out for yourself. On the inside, I also used some of the scraps to decorate, and something that was kind of amazing is this is basically all of the scraps I have left from the pattern paper because I decorated those insides. So sometimes you think, oh, that's a lot of wasted pattern paper. But many times you can use that on the inside or maybe on an envelope to coordinate it. And then you're left with less to recycle or to try to use later on a project. Now let me tell you how you can download this month's printable. As always, I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel if you're going to click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a second. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you sign up for a mail list or send me any proof, so please make sure before you click on that link that you have already clicked on the subscribe button. It's free, it's quick, it's easy to do. There's a red button right below this video. While you're there, you might want to go ahead and ring that bell for notifications too. You are going to find the link to this month's printable down in the description box right below my P.O. Box address. Below the link it will say to watch the video for a password, but there isn't one. You watching this far is kind of your password. Don't forget, if you're going to share creations using this month's sheet load, to use the two hashtags at the top. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. 
I'm super excited to come back tomorrow and show you the process of these cards. And I'm also excited to see what my collaboration team has created. If you're excited to get started with this month's sheet load or you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.